Hey everyone, ad copy is extremely important when it comes to running any type of campaign on Facebook. And I've seen some studies that have said it can be as important as up to 60 to 70% of the success of your campaign. Primarily because when users are skimming through Facebook, you have a little, little amount of time to engage them and get them to click on your ad or do whatever you're trying to get them to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you the power of slideshow ads, what they are, and how to create them to create very impactful ad copy. Let's dive in. We've all been here before. Head over to your ads manager account and go to an ad set. And we're just going to go to a random ad set here that I have for my parents' Facebook ads manager account. And the way you want to get to a slideshow ad is once you actually create an ad set, hop into an ad, you just go down to create slideshow, which is halfway down through the bottom of the page. And here's exactly what a slideshow ad is. It takes several static images and just makes a ongoing video with it. So there's a ton of different formats out there. So, you know, you've got this nifty little one that just showcases different product types. You've got different ones that have movement. Um, I would recommend going through the different templated libraries and there are different square and vertical templates available. So it's gonna show you how it looks on mobile here and then also how it would look on, this is technically desktop as well. And by the way, this is both Facebook and Instagram. But some of my favorite ones is this one right here mainly, I'll show you why in a second, where it has your logo on the top, a simple call to action, and then your photo in the background. And then what's really nice in my mind is it does the little slow zoom in on the image. So it's just a nice way of somebody scrolling down to their newsfeed, you know, on their phone, it's gonna showcase that image very heavily. Another really good one is this headline feature where if you want to include some very simple call to action, you're able to do that as well. For this example, I'm going to use this template. So just spotlight an image. And if you select a template, you can select continue. And it's gonna ask you for different scenes. So um, this scene literally just has three things. It's an image your text, your logo, and then if you wanna add any stickers, which I wouldn't recommend to do necessarily, but I'll show you exactly what that is. So again, my parents' business, it's a tree service, but they also offer mulch. So I've done this in the past in some capacity, but you know, you wanna pick the best image that you have available. Um, ones that I've used has just been a, a bunch of firewood in the past, but let's say you wanna showcase something a little different. What do we have here? Um, so here you go. We've got some, some, uh, you know, wedding centerpieces potentially that people may want to use for their ceremony. And this may not be the best, uh, image, but let's say, let's say we wanted to use this one and you can crop the image however you would like. Right. So just like how you would want to on Facebook, let's say I want to get, well, I want to get the whole stump in there. The reason why this is extremely important, guys, is because ad copy, like I said, is up to 60 to 70% um, up to the success of your campaign. So if your ad copy is not good, chances are the campaign may not succeed. So we can do custom wedding centerpieces. Centerpieces, one or two word. One or two words. I'm going to go with one. Learn more. I'll just do this. Custom wedding centerpieces. Make it a little bit of a better picture. Um, and then I always like to change the background to something that meshes well with my image. Um, yeah, this blue should, should look nice. And then we can just grab a nice little logo here. I think... Their logo is about halfway through the page. Otherwise, you can grab this nice little sign right here. And then what you can finally do at the end is if you want to add in some type of sticker, some people do holiday sales or free shipping, if that has to work with your product, you know, adding something with free shipping there could be another nice way with the call to action to have your ad stick out a little bit more. And the reason why this is so nice is for, you know, small businesses, people who don't have a budget for a creative team, you can 
have the power of creating some flashy ad copy. And again, this isn't the greatest ad or the greatest piece of creative, right? But when you're thinking about it in the actual newsfeed, if I'm scrolling through my newsfeed and if I see something that jumps out, out at me just a little bit, just a little bit, there's a much higher chance of somebody engaging with my content in some way. And that's all we want. We want something that's going to grab their attention after just looking at it for one to five seconds. So that's that's the whole purpose of this ad primarily is to, instead of having a static image, putting a little bit of pizzazz behind it. So definitely something you're going to want to test and something you can create in probably the same amount of time it would take you to just select a static image. And all this is done exactly within the Facebook Ads Manager tool. So I'm going to give this about you know another minute or two and we'll cut back to the video. One second, guys. Oh yeah, we're ready to go guys. Check this out. We have this static, I'm sorry, the slideshow ad created. It's in our news feeds. It's literally nine seconds long. It's gonna take up a little bit here. So now we can include the ad copy and we can do something like, um, you know, wedding. So, you know, getting married soon, get a custom wedding center piece for your special day or something. Again, we'd want to um, test this a little bit with the messaging. So the whole entire point here is we can create a movable piece of content that is not static and it's you know within the newsfeed and gonna capture our subject's attention in a very short amount of time. So that's the power of slideshow ads, guys. It takes a very short amount of time to set up. Let me know what some of your best practices are. And for those of you who do not have a big team behind you and it's just you, this is a really easy way to make your content pop. So let me know in the comments if you've had success with using Facebook slideshow ads. I'd love to hear more. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.